Hi farmers, Queso here. I thought that was kind of funny calling everybody farmers. But that's why we play this game, we like to sim farm. Anyway, this video I'm going to do today is about bailing. So this was one that I meant to do uh, sooner uh, to, f to do with um, kind of supplement my cow tutorial, cow farming. Um, as part of the cow tutorials or cow farming you need bales of both hay and straw. So this video here I'm going to cover off the both types of baling. Uh, we have square baling and round baling. So right here is the uh, Chrome V180X I guess it is. Let me just bring up the baling section. Baling technology, so we have the round baler, so there's two types of baling, like, like I said, round bales and square bales. Uh, the round baler may be more appealing, it costs less, um, only 8,000 less, so really that's basically nothing. Um, the Obviously you're going to have fewer bales with the round baler because they um, are larger and I believe they compact tighter. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't tested that out, but um, anyway, there's round bales, and then there's the square, ba square baler right here, the Crone Big Pack 1290 square baler for 120000 So, um, one of the things that I want to start off with and say is, if you're just doing going to do the baling so that, um, to make money, don't. Um, it, there's a, the equipment cost is a lot, so I mean one you, obviously you need a tractor. If you're like me, you um, I end up having one tractor for every piece of equipment because I hate switching. I hate going picking it up, bringing it here, bringing it there. It just it's time consuming. I don't like it. But so there's that problem. Um, if you don't and don't care, then then that's fine. You can switch out, but you still have the cost of the trailer or the baler. So first off, with these balers, you're gonna have 112 to 120 thousand uh, dollar tag right off the bat. So so it's expensive. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go through um, and bail up uh, bail up some of this uh, straw. Now, straw comes from two crops. I'm just going to show you. So I planted this field with wheat and this field with barley. I didn't spray it or anything like that, so with your yields you may get more stalks. Uh, so don't, don't count the amount of bales and stuff that we get here as being how much you should get. Um, I just planted them so I could get, get the trail. So you'll see the combine goes and harvests it and lays down the top. So this stuff is a little darker brown and the the wheat is um, a lighter brown. A beige, I guess you could call it. So when you bale the, both of these materials, they turn into straw. I'll cover off hay in my next video because um, it's... I mean, you need that too for the cow farming, but it's a totally different process. Um, some similarities, but different machinery. So, anyway, we're gonna. I'm just gonna show you how the the equipment works. So, obviously, you line up your tractor, um, and more so, actually, the front part of the baler. So, if you can see it, uh, I like to I like to play zoomed way out because I like to see stuff. But the the tractor, uh, the baler has a, a machine on it that it picks up. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn it on. And as you see, when I hit B, it lowers it to the ground. And I believe the fastest you can go is speed control 2. Um, it'll tell me if I'm wrong there. But as you see, we drive over it, and it picks it up. You can see in the bottom right corner, uh, it, t it uh, um, fills up and gives us a percentage of full. So with this one, um, interest the, the round balers... It, the round bale is pretty cool. If you if you really want to just bale to sell them, this isn't so bad because 
the uh, the round bales um, the, the or the round baler is fun. I, I, I enjoy it. I find it um, interesting. It's more interactive because as you'll see here, as we get full, it'll and I I apologize. I turned off the the auto help. In fact, I'm actually going to turn it back on. Hold on. Okay, here we are. I'm back. All right, so um, as you as you're gonna see here in a minute, we're gonna pro. I think we're gonna hit a full bale. Now, this is the only downside of it is you have to watch it because you can hear it starting to beep, telling you that it's getting full. Now, this is the the downside of this baler. Um, it doesn't one you can't. Um, hire a worker. So all bailing is all manual. That's one of the things. Um, but this one gets full and it'll stop picking up the, uh, the straw. The problem with that is if you're going along and you, you now I'm full and you'll see that the X now X is available to unload it. Um, if I was if I had just hit like the brake and then let it go at like speed control 2 I would skip past some of these um, some of the uh, crop and then well it's not really crop but some of the straw and then I'd miss it in the pickup so one of the things I don't like about the round baler is that is that you have to pay attention to your speed so anyway you just hit X it opens it up it pops it out and you just continue on with your process so it's just as simple as that. So you just you just keep going up and down the the aisle and uh, and picking up your your uh, straw. Now, what you need to do afterwards in both cases, whether you do um, straw bales or square bales, is you have to collect them. And I'm going to go through that in a minute here, but I'm going to bring up the I'm going to do the square bales so we have some of them. So, <clears throat> again, this one, same premise, they are concept, it has, um, it looks very much the same, except for it's got a different attachment. You'll see that uh, at the front of the baler, it has that um, collector, so as we switch to the baler and hit G to, or sorry, B to start, uh, you'll see it lower. So we're going to take this, we're going to we're gonna go up and down. Um, the field here. It does the same thing as the round baler. It fills up as you drive across. Now, each one of the balers has a downfall. It's not really downfall, but just irritation, I guess. So, you're going to see that I'm going to fill up this baler, and I'm going, I'm not going to have a bale come out. And you don't unload this one. It automatically unloads, but it unloads from being pushed out by the next bale being packed. So it actually, you won't get a bale drop off until about your third bale. Um, you see there I'm full, now I'm working on the second bale, and I still don't have one. So it's like, really? I gotta do all that? So you could you could probably do one whole field here and, and maybe only get one bale. Um, so one of the things I want to mention here, so now I'm switching to a different crop. That was wheat. This is barley. Um, but their remains both produce straw. So you can have both crops going and, ha and use the same baler. They don't, uh, they don't change uh, materials, unlike hay. Um, hay, you they don't. It's a different. It's a different product. So you uh, can't. I mean, you can, but um, you know, I could be 70 or 99 percent done my straw bale, and then I uh, go start picking up the dried grass for for hay. Um, it, it just it it just doesn't flip over nice. There's no way to uh, to empty it or clean it out. So what I tend to do. Um, because <clears throat> again, like I said, I, I, I mean, I guess I really don't end up caring. So you can see, like, I've got, I'm on my third or fourth bale now, and still haven't got one out. Like, it's kind of weird, because it, the 
baler's at not actually long enough to have three or four bales in it. Anyway, um, what you can do if you don't want to use the same baler, because I had the, the very first time I baled, I was partially the way through a straw bale, and um, I started on the grass, and it made the bale half grass and half straw, but it was like a glitchy bale. It was, it would, it was hovering partially over the ground, and any time I hit it, it like shot across the um, field. It didn't shoot all the way across, but it moved as if it was like um, on ice, and it just slid. Um, anyway, so you can see here, here's the irritation. I've done almost this entire field and the half of the other field, and I'm just getting a bale there now. So you can see that it does take a while to get um, one started, but once once you've got um, your bales popping out, it's actually not bad, uh, because now every time I hit 100%, I'll have another one drop out, and I'm not going to have enough to uh, give me a bale, So that, and that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to to show you that. Okay, so after so let's pretend we had a whole bunch of bales on our field here. Um, and another thing is too. Uh, so let's say you don't want to collect them right away. You can plow back over this field with a cultivator and seeder, and it'll just push the bales of hay to the end of the field. Um, I mean, obviously it's not realistic, but that's one thing if you if you didn't want to bother collecting them all, or maybe you just want to collect them at the end of a field, you could do that. It'll just it'll just bulldoze them. I'll show you. I'll use the combine um, as an example. So let's pretend this had an attachment, or this was like a cultivator or a sprayer or something on the front. It would have. Um, starting so anyway let's so let's pretend I was plowing the field to see that it'll just push it along and then when it got to the end of the field and started its turn it would just kind of push it a little bit so that's one if you don't really want to collect it all because all this stuff does cost money so here's the next step so when you've, you've purchased a field you've plowed it and then you've um, harvested it and you've got that trail left over so you can bale it or your cheaper option is just to use a forge wagon um, and then uh, um, and just pick it up and then sell it back at your yard in this building straight ahead. So right right here this building um, allows you to sell straw and hay um, surplus. You just back a trailer into it, unload it, and it sells it. Same with the bales. So um, two options for your bales. Um, at least with the square bales, or with the square bales, you have two options. With the round bales, you only have one option. So with the round bales, you have to pick them up with a forklift. There's no automatic loader, and then so every forklift has a a bale fork, and I want to say this: you probably shouldn't waste your money on trying to pick it up without the bale fork as it ends up just pushing it along and it doesn't this it doesn't um, spear the um, spear the bales so you can see they're longer or thinner um, and pointier bale fork uh, under front loaders you'll see so that the, the Wiedemann for example it has a, a large bale fork I haven't tried it on the small one I'm sure it would work but again you put them on a trailer or, or haul, haul them to the burn the this lizard wheel one doesn't have any attachments it just has a scoop so you don't have to worry about that one. Oh, sorry I wanted to talk about price so because this is a, important in when making your decision so the Weedman is 26,000 plus 1,200. So you're looking at 27,200. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. I was, I was, uh, <clears throat> I had to, I had to swallow. 
and then the so the do its aggro vector um, is 103,000 yes way more money but it's a fa much faster um, front loader and I haven't bothered to do tutorials on this um, but this is the front loader you want to use to complete your driving missions um, you'll have I, I thought about this long after I bought the game because I even made a complaint on their form saying you, the driving missions you can't complete in time but I was trying it with the Wiedemann and it goes like 15 miles an hour whereas this guy goes like 25 or something like that so you definitely have a this is definitely faster it has a bail fork it doesn't say large bail fork but I don't think that really matters same with this Wiedemann I'm sure this will pick up uh, the small bail and I'm gonna give that a shot as well to show you um, how to pick them all up and then the agro firm it's basically a tractor with a front loader on it so technically if you wanted to save money you could just buy this use it as a tractor I'm pretty sure you can and then um, and have the bail fork on the front of it so this has a bail fork so those are your two options I'm gonna go over and pick up one of the or both of the um, bales and then I'm gonna bring them back here just to to show you so I'll be right back okay guys we're back um, I wanted to show you this uh, as <laughs> you just saw it there the the bale actually um, glitched through the, the the fork on it so sometimes I find pallets and bales tend to do weird things um, I haven't experienced the bales uh, sliding through the forks um, in a before like on my cow video they, they seem to go fine but um, sometimes what you have to do if you find the things glitch or are sliding really weird like almost like they don't have any weight to them save your game exit out of it and then not necessarily out of the whole program but just out of your save and then go back in and it usually fixes it but anyway so I just wanted to show you this is the side that I was talking about the short broad side I think you can spear it from up here too. Um, I could be wrong on that one. Well, I picked it up, but anyway, you can. I always pick it up from that short, long side. That one there, that face. Um, just because I know it always, always works. So the as far as the round bales, um, I know you can do it in that uh, the flat side. I haven't tried the curved side. Um, I would suspect that, I mean, technically real life it would work, but yeah, look, it doesn't. So, um, you're going to need to pierce it from, from this part right here. So, the large bale fork on the Wiedemann, it looks freaking ridiculous for one. Um, but, they all work the same. To be honest, my favorite, um, front loader is this one. I like, I... I don't know, I find it it's just got a better turning radius. It's more difficult to get precise because, see if I wanted to move over just a tiny bit, I have to turn it. I can't just do it a little bit, like I can't go and, and stop. I think you might be able to with a controller, but um, anyway. So this one here, you just, you end up just poking it in and the bales is kind of glitchy for me. I won't bother using the other tractor, but what you would have to do is either take your bale and bring it all the way back and look, it's so it's, it is glitching through on me. Um, you would either drive it back to the farmhouse or um, you can bring a trailer along. Now, each one of these front loaders will hook up one of these trailers. Um, I, I would imagine that the Look how crappy this is. I'm gonna pot I'm gonna save and exit and see if it makes any difference. All right, I'm back. So I uh, I'm not sure if it's going to have fixed it or not, but we'll see. No, see, look, it's sliding right through. So okay, so here's one reason why I don't do round bales or forklifting the bales. So they act weird. Anyway, it, if it works for you, great. If not then you see the like the friggin troubles that you have with it so anyway if what you end up having to do is bring it into and dump it into say this trailer this one would be for the round bales so that they don't roll off and the other one 
uh, you can use for the square bales. Um, I I don't think it um, really would matter. Like you could probably get the round bales on here as well, uh, but I don't know if they'll roll off when you're uh, when you're driving. So so take that in consideration. So this front loader costs. Let's review the prices here. So it costs 103,000 alone, and the tractor version is 132,000, and then the the forks on top of that. The Weedman, which is the one I was just using, is 26,000 plus the 1,200, so 20, 27,200. So you could get the bales off your field and onto a trailer for the small price of 27,000. But you saw the frustration that I have with it. So that leads me to the next piece and that is this awesome piece of equipment to pick up the square bales so it's absolutely phenomenal phenomenal it's free. it's just awesome um, so let me bring it up here in the menu and that is bailing technology the Arcusen auto stack uh, it's 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 expensive. It's ninety five thousand uh, or ninety six thousand if you want to. You can also you can obviously get them on sale when the when the equipment goes on sale, um, and then of course you're gonna need a tractor to pull it. But the only other option that's cheaper than this is the Weedman. You know, I mean you can use the Weedman for other stuff like the the fork or um, sorry wool the pallets of wool putting them on the trailer. If you saw my sheep video. Which, by the way, I've managed to get 10 pallets on the blue trailer, uh, which I'm going to show as well in another video. Anyway, so here's, uh, I just want to show you this. It's so awesome and it's way uh, less frustrating. So you obviously hook up a trailer and you press the letter B to put it in to collection mode. And all you need to do is drive by the, the bale. You can drive by at speed 3. Um, I usually do two just because it gives me time for it to pick it up, so watch. It just grabs it, it slides it on the trailer, and I don't have a second bale, but if it did, it would put that bale in in place there, and then it starts stacking them up along the back. So you see the the grooves? It just it just brings them all the way down to the, uh, the end of the, the uh, tractor. Our trailer. Anyway, let me actually. I want to just demonstrate that. I may still have the bales of hay up at the cow place from my cow tutorial. So let me go in and grab those. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll get up there. All right, we're back. Sorry, I believe it was daylight when I left. I, <laughs> I got stuck on one of the log stumps over there. Uh, anyway, so here we are. So yeah, I do have my. Uh, um, Bales, so I'm just gonna separate them a little bit here. Uh, demolition Derby, and so you can see here. Uh, here's a perfect example: the, the straw bales are brown, and you'll see the green bales there. That's the hay, which comes from grass. So again, I'm just gonna bring out my, uh, bring the loader out, and as you drive near a bale, it ends up putting it up on the trailer. So you can see there, I got two of them, right? And it, so it lifted it up. Actually, I reset the pallet. That's interesting. Don't reset your trailer. Because I reset the trailer too, and I had one bale on it. Apparently I lost my uh, straw bale in this way as well. So anyway, you'll see here. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through some of these and, and pick them all up. So you can see it's pretty quick, especially with how long it takes to actually produce a bale on the field. They're spread out, so you can drive around and collect them pretty pretty fast. So I recommend, um, like I said, I recommend this piece of equipment. It's really only $100,000, but that, as, as far as, well, in all honesty, sheep farm sheeping is the most profitable uh, thing in the game uh, and easy to do. Cow the cow milk is probably very profitable as well, but it requires all these bales and stuff like that too. It requires a setup that you don't really 
Um, it can't really get set up easy. Whereas you can sheep start sheep farming with just a simple um, one of those little Amazon power mowers with the thing uh, with the bucket on it. So anyway, you can see as I'm picking these up and <laughs> driving over all the bales um, that they that it's just pushing them down or filling up the uh, the cart. And so it, it, it's just it, it's really helpful. It's really easy. I'm not really paying attention, so I'm missing some of these. But um, anyway, what happens is you get it, you get full, um, and I forget what happens when it's full. I think, oh yeah, it just when you drive over one, it just simply won't pick it up anymore. Um, and we're coming close to the the full a uh, full trailer load, um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so I think. I think one more, one more set would be a full trailer load, but I don't need to. Anyway, so what you end up doing is you come, you press uh, O, I think it is, that's what it said, to unload it, and so it puts, it gets it in a um, unloading state or position, I should say. Um, and you'll see it says table is being tilted, please wait, and then it gets, um, and it gives you a couple other options, so you can unload them or you can abandon and. Uh, and uh, and move it again. So I've never drove around with it up in this state. I'm at speed three, and it doesn't look like it affects it. Although it is t a little top heavy. So anyway, I'll show you. We'll just unload them by pressing O. Oh. So again, if you were just doing this to sell them, they don't give you a whole lot of money. You're bet you're better off. My suggestion is start farming. Um, if you don't want to do the the sheep, that's fine. Although you can get more money out of them um, than than anything. Um, but uh, at first, uh, don't bother collecting uh, the the leftover straw. Uh, just plow it under, plant crops again, and go. Uh, if you want to collect it, then you know buy a baling trailer. Uh, not a bailing trailer, but a loading wagon, I mean, and just collect it. So this is the, the last thing I was going to talk about, is these will just drive over the strip just like a normal uh, baler, and it'll pick it up, and then you just, you go back to your farm here, and you dump it in uh, in this tra trailer here. Same with that baler that I just showed you, or the, the red wagon, um, you know, we'll call it the red wagon. Red, red, or rider red wagon. Um, anyway, you would come here and just tip it up and unload it. But what I was going to say is, don't waste the bales. If you're going to go through the trouble of buying all the equipment and baling, drive it up to the cow pasture and dump it there. Um, and then that way, when you're ready to do cows, you'll have all that, uh, all those bales ready to go, and it'll be a lot less of a hassle. If uh, you're not going to to bale. Um, or need the bales, and if you take a look at my cow video, you'll see why I, I, I recommend the square bales. Um, but uh, other than that, even for the normal bedding, the straw, because you need to put straw in as well, you can do that with a forge wagon, and uh, it's a lot faster. So um, I believe I covered everything off that you really need to know. Uh, so my recap here is: if you're going to bale, you do square bales. Because simply because it's easier to pick them up afterwards, it'll save you time in the end, and time is money, um, and the frustration, and you can't do anything with them except for, uh, sorry, if you don't do the red wagon, you have to load them in these wagons, and then you'd have to go and bring your forklift up to the cow place as well and take them off. Um, or you're just simply going to sell them, and I don't think that's uh, um, that's worth it. But anyway, so like I said, square bills and the red wagon to collect them, uh, as it uh, is just more efficient, as you saw. I just drove over them and it picks them up. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. I w again, like I said, I will do one for the the hay because it's a different. It's a little bit different process, um, not the baling part of it and the collecting. So what I do is I still use a square baler, as you can tell, use a square baler for the hay and this wagon to pick it up. But um, 
you'll see you have to cut your grass and you have to dry the grass and then you have to um, bale it. So it, it's a lot of manual work um, and it's frustrating somewhat. But, uh, ooh, that was awesome. Um, but yeah, so anyways, hope this video helped. I know I rambled on quite a bit and, talk and said some useless crap, but um, anyway, don't forget to share, like, and, uh, and I will see you guys later.